Let's evaluate the integral of tan cubed x over cosine cubed x dx. So before anything, whenever I have an integral with trig in it, I like to try to put it in the form of anything with sines and cosines. So I don't want that tan cubed x. So instead of tan, a, tan cubed x, I'm going to rewrite it in terms of sines and cosines. So we know that tan x is equal to sine x over cosine x. So tan cubed x is going to be equal to sine cubed x over cosine cubed x. And then this is all over cosine cubed x. Now to simplify things, I'll just be taking this cosine cubed x down there so that it multiplies by that other cosine cubed x. And so my integral now looks like sine cubed x over cosine to the power of 6x dx. So now what? Now I kind of want to set this up to do a u substitution. And it might not be the most obvious thing to do, but what I can do is I can take out one of those copies of sines so that I have sine squared x here in the numerator over cosine to the power of 6x times that one copy of sine that I just took out, dx. And I want you to take note of that sine squared x that I have over here. This can be substituted. Take a minute to guess what it might be. <laughs> and if you thought of the Pythagorean identity of sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1, then you'd be correct. Instead of sine squared x, I can write um, 1 minus cosine squared x over that cosine to the power of 6x, and I'll keep that. I'll tackle that sine x dx in a second. Now what I have here is a nice setup for u substitution. Notice that my sine x dx has just one copy of sine, and that was intentional because to do my u substitution, I want u to be equal to cosine x. And so my du is going to be equal to negative sine x. That negative is not that big of a deal because I can very easily deal with it by just multiplying by negative on both sides. So I have negative du is equal to sine x dx, which matches what I have in this integral over here. Now all I have to do is rewrite this integral in terms of my u and what I just defined as u and du. So I'll go ahead and take that negative out to make things easier for me. And so instead of cosine, um, I'll have u. So 1 minus u squared and u to the power of 6 in the denominator. And then that sine x dx term just goes to du because I took out the negative. Now to deal with this negative, I can just distribute it in, into here and it will just cause these two terms to flip. So I'm going to go ahead and one step separate the, separate the fraction. So I'm going to have the integral of u to the power of 2 over u to the power of 6 minus 1 over u to the power of 6 du. Again, what I did is I kind of distributed that negative inside, which caused two terms to flip. And I also just separated the, the, the fraction. Now I can rewrite this. Uh, I can simplify this further, this term and also write it as like not a fraction. <laughs> so I'll have the integral of u to the power of negative four um, minus u to the power of negative six du. The reason I did this is because I think this is the easiest way to integrate this, but you could, you could solve it um, from here. You could, you could go ahead and simplify this term and integrate it however you, way you'd like, but I think using the power rule here is really easy. So we all know how to use the power rule. You add one to the power and divide by that new power. So when I, when I do integrate this, I'll have, instead of u to the negative four integrated, I'll have um, u to the power of negative three. So I'm gonna be multiplying by negative one over three times u to the power of negative three. And then same deal here, I'll have uh, minus, and then I'll have another negative, so that becomes plus 1 over 5 times u to the power of negative 5. And I'm going to add a arbitrary constant, c. You could do this at the end, but I like to make a habit of putting it immediately after I integrate so that I don't forget it. 
Now, all I have left to do is just substitute what I had for u back in. And remember, I, um, I defined u to be cosine x. So all I have to do is just, instead of u, write cosine. So I have negative 1 over 3 cosine cube x plus 1 over 5 cosine to the power of 5x plus the arbitrary constant c. And that's it.